Welcome back to you. And me. Board, board gaming. gaming. And this is our summer splash bash. bash. We're, here we're not in our normal studio. No. We have stepped out the confines of the studio. To fit more with summer. And we are outside. Hopefully the weather holds off long enough for us to do this. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, we've Join got several summer-themed board games. Who would have thunk it? But there actually is some summer-themed board games. Mm -hmm. But there is. So we're here with Sunshine and the newest member, Ocean. Check out the last episode. Sunshine's back from vacation and brought Ocean. So welcome back, Ocean. What's up, dude? Hi. Wow. Two contrasting... <laughs> Beach duck and southern duck. He's like this... Uh, Anyway, first game we're going to be doing a review of, this is our first uh, first look and review and an unboxing of Conezilla, a yummy game for the brain. Oh gosh, oh. that makes me think that's probably going to be a brain freeze twist to this. Ah, brain freeze, haha. <laughs> I love this box with the stack here, it's really cool. Even even the logo, that is nice, with the cone and the sprinkles, mm. memory and deduction game for the family. So it's a card game. A little yep. bit of the back, how to play. So there's about it's about numbers, okay? Numbers. Two to four players, ten minutes, and ages six plus. Let's six see what plus. So it must be pretty is. easy as far as the gameplay is concerned that they're letting the kid that is mm -hmm. six years old to play it. So we went up three ages, <laughs> three plus to six plus. Yeah, our We're first video that we did, our first. Uh, Similar to the Splash Bash video we did, we were in the studio and we were playing... The last one, actually. Don't Spill the Beans. <laughs> that was interesting. I was mm -hmm. surprised at how actually that, that game is fun. Mm -hmm. How fun that actually is. So. It's three plus now, it's six plus. We're getting older. <laughs> getting older, older audience. We're, at, we're out of the preschool ages, now we're in the elementary. Yeah, what do you know, three days ago, it adds three years. Wait, a day's a year? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, I got the plastic off. I'll put it right there for now. Let's see what we got smooth here. Box. It is a very smooth box. Sticky to the fingers. Alright. We have a brochure rule. <laughs> brochure size rule book. Is that it? Just just two pages? About three mm. three pages. Uh, we have four starting ice cream cones. I guess they're full ice cream cones. And the rest are um, scoops. Hmm. They look like they're double scoops, but they're not. That's interesting how they got them packed in that. All right. Oh, I like right the, two, the two pockets in the box. And then, yeah, it's, it's cool. You can actually, it's locked in. I mean, I guess you could pull it out. I guess you could pull it out. Just to have a box. But no I, I like the blue inside the box. I like the edge of the box. It's clouds. That's, that's cool. Mm -hmm. All right. And it comes with this Fox Mine game catalog. Ooh, I like when they do this. Smarter fun. Let's see. So Game Right did this with their games, too. They put... All right, so there is Mar Match Madness, Potion, Slam Buff, Slam Words, Quick Link. That one has uh, suction cup handle things. Mm. That's interesting. Um, Maze Racers. That looks interesting. Uh, Speedy Words, Brain Flip, Odd World, Tum... Takamachi, Last Mouse Lost, uh, Go Bong. These, these two here are played on what looks like that new fidget the pop toy, it. the poppet. Mm -hmm. uh, I the same thing. Don't rock the croc. That sounds familiar. Don't rock the croc. You don't rock the croc. Take a break. That looks like a jingo 
put it at the wall instead. The wall of the Toronto, um, Manhattan, so I guess it's a building game or something. Six, Kalami, Smart Cookies with Edison, interesting. Metaforms, oh, Edison. Smart guy, Professor, Edison. Tom says, I'm Tom Gravino, oh, I'm Perfecto, it's the same type of guy, I guess. Um, Tang Romano, Tang, Tang Romano, Perfecto. So these are games, these four here are like building games using different elements of building. That's interesting. These are using a, a notepad, doing some stuff in it. They're kind of like, huh. Okay, so there's a lot of games that we can actually expound yeah, on. Yeah, I like when the games, the companies put the brochure in there because it helps us out if we want more about them. We can just go straight We're always looking for so new this games. Is, this is uh, from game company Fox Mine. Fox Mine. I've uh, so never heard that. Nude. I like the logo. Look, it looks like a fox, but it's, it's like also an airplane. A paper plane. A paper plane. So That's kind of neat. Welcome to the channel, Fox Mine. It's a new Fox company. Fox Mine. Welcome to the channel. All right, so we got this. We got this uh, brochure size rules here. I like when they put the brochures in there because we're always looking for new games, especially for our holiday specials. So thank you. Thank you for the brochure. All right. Um, so we have two. We have two stacks here. Stacks of ice cream. Two ice cream cones. Oh, okay, those separate. Okay. So we have a full cones and then scoops. Okay. With all these different numbers on them. And each scoop has different flavors. It looks like. What are these colors? Like, what are these flavors? Uh, this is probably butter pecan. Chocolate chip. This is chocolate mint. chip mint. This is probably a chocolate chip cookie dough. The way that looks. Cookies and cream, maybe. Cookies and cream. Deluxe swirl. Well, well mango. Uh, well, well. Orange. It looks, it's probably orange. Orange slices. Orange ripple or something, maybe. Um, this rocky is probably road. a sherbet. That's probably a rocky road. Turd cream. This is a Neapolitan because it's chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. So that's got to be rocky road because it's got the marshmallow stuff in it. All right. So you spread them out to where. Superman. Could be Superman, yeah. To where. Uh, no, there's cookies and cream. Oh, okay. So that's. Chocolate chip <laughs> and double chocolate chip. Doc, oh, this is chocolate chip cookie dough. This I don't know what this one is. Chocolate chip fudge ripple or something or caramel ripple. Anyway, so there's all the ice cream. And this looks like it's cherry. Like a cherry ice cream. All right. So, let's see where's the instructions at? Where do they go? What do we do to it? <gasps> It left us. Instructions. It left us. <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, dude, it's it's, un, it's under the ice cream, really. <laughs> oh. Um. I'm looking at the surface, not underneath. So my, my eyes are blind. <laughs> All right. Combine ten colorful mouth-watering ice cream scoops and be the first to build this most spectacular conezilla. Each player gets a starting uh, starting ice cream cone, which is one of these. Um, spread all 48 scoops with your number between 2 and 49 randomly on the table the number side facing down mm. oh we got a match game going on here okay hmm of course what? youngest player always goes first <laughs> deucing just scratch that deucing always goes Flip over one ice cream scoop and decide whether to take it and place it on top of their cone or flip it back into its space. So, this doesn't have any, like, who last ate ice cream like some of the other games we've been reviewing? It doesn't have a special mm -hmm. thing? Oh, wow. Nope. In order to place a scoop on the cone, its value must be higher than the value on the top of their cone. Alright, so, 
you start out value is one. Mm -hmm. So your next scoop would have to be more than one. So your first one's just going to be free. So you want to get one that's lower. So you can keep building and making try to get bigger numbers. Because mm -hmm. if you jump and start out on 36, then your gap is smaller to get a bigger number because they're all lower than that, for instance, right? So mm -hmm. there's a bit of a strategy here, how you mm. get how you go by. Because it says you can flip and take it or put it back in its place. Oh well that <laughs> um for example a uh, player decide to add a scoop of value number seven to the top of their cone on their next turn. On the next turn, they can add a scoop numbered eight or higher, because the number would be seven. So basically, the next number, uh, so this picture here is showing one and four, and three won't be able to go on four because four is bigger than three, so you have to go with a bigger number, like mm -hmm. seven, six, or five. So, you're, you're adding, you're putting an extra number on it. Uh, when players do not take a scoop, they just flipped. They must let all players see its value before they flip it back. Um, players cannot insert a scoop between scoops that are already stacked on the cone. In other words, a scoop must be added to the top of the cones in ascending order. So, you can't add, like, the 6 in between the 4 and 7. You have to be on top, like on 14, as you go above the 7. Mm -hmm. uh, the game ends when the player succeeds in building a cone consisting of 10 scoops, including the number 1 cone. So you only need 9 of these Aww, additional scoops, dumb. because that is considered the first scoop on the cone itself. Um, if a situation occurs where no player can build a 10 scoop cone, the player who accumulated the most scoop wins. What? Someone's going to get to 10, though. Well, there could be there could be an instance where um, somebody flipped a higher number and stuck with that number, and there may not be enough for ten. Mm -hmm. So, say I have six and you have seven, and you can't go higher than seven, mm -hmm. you would win. Mm -hmm. For example, right? So that's what they mean by that. So if you can't if you can't possibly can't, if you can't make a consecutive row of ten then you just go with the one that has the most at the end mm -hmm. of the game. Because you can't go up, you can't make a consecutive 10. Uh, that just a pretty simple game as far as the rules. I just read all the rules right there. That's mm. that's it. That's all of them. Mm. So you start out with your starting cone. You flip all the cones over, the scoops over. If you don't see the numbers. And then you flip it over to see what the number is. And you decide, oh... Like, your very first one could be 49. Well, you don't want 49 because that's the highest you can get. Mm -hmm. So you turn it back over, but you make sure everybody can see what it is before you, you turn it back over, you know, to be fair. And then... So, so can't somebody hack that and just, like, take the 49, That then that makes them two scoops in? It's like, oh, I can't do nothing, so I win. No, you can't win that way. If whoever has the most scoops, though. But then there'll be only two scoops. They would lose. Huh, if that's... If it ends right there when... It was, when that's the highest number you can get. Mm -hmm. You can't get any higher than 49. Therefore, you have two scoops in one of them? You don't win that way. Oh. So why'd you just... I'm confused now. Why'd you just say whoever has the most scoops, then? If you can't make a consecutive row of ten... Mm -hmm. Uh, stacking it up from 1 to 10 or or whatever with 10 numbers from 1 to whatever number with 10 scoops on it. Mm -hmm. Right? So... Well, I can't. If I have 49, then one, I can't. Exactly. You so screw yourself over Therefore, the game ends because I can't do anything else with it. You, uh, you wouldn't do that. That's what I'm saying. Why would you cut the game short? But that is a thing that can happen, though. It should. If you want to be okay. a jerk about it, All yeah. Right. So that's a little. That's a little loop about it. That's what's. That's but you don't want to do that there. because you want to get the most. You want to win. You don't want to screw the game over and cause everybody else to lose. So basically, 
winning in like a wrong way. And then you put the nine on top of the eleven, and then maybe. Wait, wait, wait that that's that's what, that's what the game is. Trying to make your rooms loose. Seventeen. So I got four. Uh, eighteen. Twenty-four. This is just for an example. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. 24, 32, no, 27, 32, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 36, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, so that would be a consecutive one level more 10. would be 10 scoops. No, but you start with one, that's your start, that's your base, that's your one, you only need um, nine uh, additional uh, scoops. Um, all right, so we're going to end this first look and review, and then we'll play the full playthrough here in a few minutes. So coming up to the channel, stay tuned for the full playthrough of Conezilla. If you're on Twitch, we're doing it out live on a stream right now. So you can follow us on Twitch and come chat to us. Yep. All right, so, I mean, we haven't played it yet. I like the mm -hmm. cards. They're, you know, bright and whimsical. And, uh, the numbers are big and clear. Mm -hmm. um, so I'd give it a good. F I'd give it a four. Starting out. Four. For quality and yeah. presentation. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I like how the flavors here are very whimsical, very fun and bright. So presentation and the it's normal cardboard. Not nothing too heavy there. But for looks a full. Mm -hmm. So we said four ice cream scoops each. Mm -hmm. Four beach balls, yeah. Four beach balls. There we go. Um, yeah. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell. And if you're on Twitch, follow us on Twitch. You underscore me gaming. You can chat, interact with us, and be featured in the YouTube videos, and be put on the viewer board and the leaderboard, and become our number one Twitch viewer. Leaderboard Twitch viewer board right now is currently being held. By the top three, which is Kane in California, Cage, Alex Nine, and Sleuthful. The viewer board is uh, Daily Spartan, Lion Ogre, Fatal Gaming, Kane, California, Cage, Alex Nine, and Sleuthful. These are just some of the viewers that come on. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that made through the board are the ones that are more consecutively watching our channel. They come on all the time, a lot more often, put it that way. Mm -hmm. So you can be on that board as well. Uh, and by, be in the YouTube videos. By tuning in on Twitch as well as uh, YouTube and everything. So big shout out to our moderator, Cage Alex 9 as well. I guess there's only one thing left to say. Don't get bored. Play a board game. Eat some ice cream, too. Eat some ice cream, yeah. Definitely some ice cream. <laughs> and happy Summer Splash Bash. Ha happy Summer? Summer Splash Bash. That's been another episode of our Summer Splash Bash. Mm -hmm. Happy Summer. Keep on splashing. Yeah. Sunshine and ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Later, dude. Y'all come back. <laughs> What a weird contrast. I can't get over that. Anyway, we'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.